Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful of that I am out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do so he can work. Wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. That may look like the heathen nations, but your father, Selah, goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time I wanted to do a, a video on the salvation of Israel. Which is going to be made possible, as always, through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, but also these vehicles of the Heavenly Father, which are the chariots. You see? But in this world, they're known as what? So called UFOs. And the men of the Lord, man, we're seeing these vehicles more and more and more, man. We just seen one last night. Uh, right after we finished our conference call, man, we came outside, man, and the brothers were chopping, chopping it up. And. We seen the chariot, man. After we had been talking about great miracles being done, the most I showing his mighty power to the world, man. And that's exactly what we saw saw last night after we finished our conference call. And then not only that one, then we seen another one. <laughs> then we looked to the east and then we seen another one show up, man. So this is how we're gonna get up out of Babylon the Great. For all you scoffers who call yourselves Israelites talking about Ain't no chariots, man. Well, how the hell are we going to get out of Babylon? How the hell are we going to escape this destruction? The only way for that to happen is by the Most High taking us up into the chariots, man. So we're going to start in Isaiah 31 and 5. It says what? As birds flying, so will Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah host defend Jerusalem. Defending also he will preserve Defending also he will deliver it and passing over he will preserve it. You see, as birds flying, what, what, what does it mean by birds flying? It's talking about the chariots, man. When Yahweh Shah returns, our Lord and our Savior, because this is how our Lord is coming back. He's coming back in a chariot with thousands of other chariots following him, man, to come and save the elect of the nation of Israel. That's how we're going to be saved. That's how we're going to be defended. That's how we're going to be delivered, man, by way of the so-called UFOs, the chariots of Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah. You see, because when you understand what the will of the Heavenly Father is and his plan and purpose for Babylon, which is to what? To burn this place for fire. How do we get out of it? By being taken up into the heavens, man. So it goes on to say, let me get this real quick. Uh, Isaiah 26 and 20, it says what? Come, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And that's and, and we're going to be hid in these chariots while America's being hit by uh, with these nuclear missiles, man. Because that's how America's going out. When you read about the lake of fire in Revelation, you see, Babylon the Great being burned with fire. That's talking about America being destroyed by way of thermonuclear fire, man. And the only way for the elect to, is, uh, to escape is to be taken up into heaven, into these chariots, man. That is the only way. So for all you dudes who don't believe in the chariots, who ain't prophesying about the chariots, or talking about the chariots, or let it be known what they really are, you're not going up in them, man. Why would the most I take you up in them if you don't believe? So you're going to be left down here on, on the soils of Babylon to suffer that thermonuclear destruction, man. And am I just saying that, just be saying that? Does not the scriptures say, what does the scripture say about the unbelieving, man? Let's get it real quick. Because if you don't believe in the chariots, man, your ass is done for. This is Revelation 21 and 8. It says what? But the fearful and unbelieving. You see, if you don't believe your house shot did no miracles, if you don't believe in the chariots, Bro, you are an unbeliever. You don't believe in the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, then. And it's going to tell you what, what, what your fate is as we continue to read this verse. So Revelation 21 and 8, it says what? 
but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death this is talking about the destruction of america and this is what's coming upon all of the wicked and, and you are wicked if you are an unbeliever man so you're going to partake in that thermonuclear fire man while the believers are going to be taken up into the heavens you see to watch this motherfucker burn man you see, this is how we're getting out of here. Yahweh Shah even tells us, man, what does he say about <laughs> Yahweh? What, what is Yahweh Shah going to do when he returns, man? This is Matthew chapter 24. We'll jump down to 30. It says what? Matter of fact, let's get 29. It says what? Immediately, uh, Matthew 24 and 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars of heaven, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. This is talking about when Yahweh Shah returns. He's going to return in the midst of nothing but hell breaking loose on the earth, man. Complete chaos. The time of Jacob's trouble, World War Three. You see, these nations are going to hit the button and shoot the missiles off. <laughs> you see, Yahweh Shah's chariots are going to block out the lights of heaven. You're going to have so many uh, missiles in the air. You see, it's going to cast a shadow on the earth, man. It's going to cause darkness to fall upon the earth. And it says, what? And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Talking about who? The elite. They're going to be terrified, man. They are going to be terrified. Hell, they're already terrified. And that's why we see them moving with great haste, trying to push forth this whack-ass new world order, man. Verse 30 goes on to say, it says what? Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall and they that slop, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And why are all the tribes of the earth why are all the tribes of the earth going to mourn? Because you have been deceived into thinking that the that the chariots, the so called UFOs, you believe that aliens are, uh, are driving these vehicles. When that's not the truth, man. The angels <laughs> Of the Lord are moving and maneuvering in these vehicles, man. And this is how our Lord is coming back. But you haven't been prepared for that. The, the church ain't teaching you that. They're teaching you that the Lord is coming back on an actual cloud, man. No. He's coming back in a gigantic so-called UFO. To gather his remnant from the four winds of the earth. As it's going to tell you in verse 31, it says what? And he shall send his angels... With a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. You hear that? Because Israel has been scattered all throughout the earth, and you're gonna have true believers of Yahweh Shah scattered all throughout the earth. And they have to be gathered, man. They have to be taken up. And that's what's gonna happen. Especially here from Babylon the Great, man. You see? This is all gonna be done by way of the chariots, man. The so-called UFOs. You see? Let's go to this. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says what? Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And that's what we're doing now, man. We're standing in great boldness in the in, 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 in the face of our oppressors, man. You see? This is what we're doing right now, man. We're fulfilling this prophecy each and every time we put up one of these videos, man. Each and every time we go into highways and byways, we fulfill that prophecy, man. And it says what? It made no account of his labors because our people built this country, man. The so-called blacks, Hispanics and, Native, Hispanics, and Native Americans built this country from the ground up, man. But you Edomites don't don't uh, give us credit for that. You want you want the world to believe that the America was built up by Americans. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Through freedom and liberty. Hell nah, man. It was built off the blood, sweat, and tears of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the Israelites according to the Bible, man. Verse 2 says what? When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. 
so far beyond all that they look for because we're telling you exactly what's about to happen. What's about to come to pass according to Yahweh about according to Yahweh Shemiah will. But you're not taking heed. We're telling you that the remnant of Israel is going to be taken up into uh, so-called UFOs, which are the chariots, man. But you still are going to be uh, bewildered when it happens, man, because you haven't been taking heed to what we've been saying. You ain't expecting so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be taken up into heaven and, and, and so-called UFOs. You're not expecting that to happen. Hell, you got Israelites who ain't expecting it to happen. <laughs> so we damn, we know damn well that you heathen are not expecting it. But that's what's about to happen. You see? That's exactly what's about to happen, man. Something the world has never seen before is about to take place. So great. Oh, what is that? The second exodus, man. What the world is about to witness very soon is the second exodus of the Israelites from the, from the land of all their captivities, man. That's what's about to happen. And it tells you that. Let's get a... Uh, which one? Do I want the one in Jeremiah 5? Um, I'm a, Jeremiah 23? Yeah, I want that one. Yup. Matter of fact, let's start in Jeremiah. Let's start at uh, 5. It says, uh, Jeremiah 23 and 5, it says, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Now, this is talking about our Lord Yahweh Shah. This is what he's coming to do. He's coming to he's coming to reign on the earth in righteousness, man. He's coming to set the world back in order. Because the world has gone completely left. Yahweh Shah is about to bring uh, righteousness back to the earth, man. Righteous judgment according to the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly father, Yahweh. You see? That's what our Lord is about to do. Verse 6 says what? In his days, Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. You hear that? We're going to be saved when Yahweh when he shall return. Lord, when we keep the faith until the end, man. And it says what? And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, that they shall no more say, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country, which is Babylon the Great, a.k.a. North America, and from all the countries where I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. And that's what's about to take place, man. The salvation of the nation of Israel is at hand. You see? And it's going to be so spectacular that the, the exodus from Egypt is going to pale in comparison. You see? When this event takes place, which is fastly approaching. Keep saying that. The exodus, the exodus from Egypt is going to take a back seat, man, to where all the heathen are just going to be talking about how we, we're going to be delivered in this time we're living in now, man. You see that this second exodus, exodus is going to override what happened in Egypt, man, because it's going to be even greater than what happened in the, uh, in, the, in the past, man. UFO, so-called UFOs showing up on the earth and delivering so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into the heavens. That, but that's exactly what's about to happen. And it's going to be something the world has never seen before. And that's all the heathen are going to be able to talk about. You see? How the Most High delivered us from the lands of our captivity. From the land of the north, man. And this is what's coming. And how is that deliverance is going to take place? It's going to take place by way of the, the chariots, man. The chariots of the Lord. The so-called UFOs, man. The same vehicles that everyone is seeing all throughout the earth. And they're, manif and they're manifesting more and more. And the, and the closer we get to the end, the more and more they're going to manifest to the point to where you might even see chariots just sitting over city for, for hours, man. So-called UFOs just sitting over, sitting over cities for hours. These are the times we're living in, man. We're living in the time of the most high doing great works, wonders, and miracles in the earth, man. You see? These are the times we're living in, man. So let's get this one. Let's get uh, Revelation. <coughs> Revelation. Uh... Yup. Yeah, let's get Revelation 15 and 1. We'll start... Yeah, we'll start at 1. 
And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of the Mosai. And I saw, as it were, a, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having having the harps of the having the harps of the Most High. So what the the Apostle John is seeing right here, he's seeing the 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 uh, the, the remnant of of the nation of Israel, the one third, you see. Standing in the chariot, man, looking down upon Babylon the Great Burn, man. You see, they're standing in the chariot. The 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 the, the bottom of the chariot is completely see through, <laughs> and they're looking down through the firmament at Babylon the Great America burn. You see, this is what the Apostle John is witnessing right here, and this is what's about to take place. The remnant got that victory. They got taken them to that chariot, man. They're watching this place burn. This is what's about to happen. This is what's about to take place. You see? Verse 3 says what? And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. And that's exactly what we're going to be saying, man. Because this place is, you people have lost your damn mind. So when the Most High destroys this place and casts that righteous judgment upon you, we're going to rejoice, man. We are going to rejoice. You see? Verse 4 says what? Who shall not fear thee, O Yahweh, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And it's going to be made evident. That this place is Babylon once this place is once this place is ignited by that fire, man. You see? We're telling you people what's about to happen, man. We're telling you what's about to come to pass. You see? The salvation of the nation of Israel is right around the corner, man. It's right around the corner. And it's gonna be something to a hey, beyond anything you people could ever imagine, man. Because we have to be saved from this destruction that's 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 imminent, <laughs> you know. The destruction of America it must take place in a, hey, and we Lord willing we be a part of that number, man. We 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 have to get the fuck up out of here. And the only way we can is by taking be, being taken up into that chariot, man. Being taken up into the chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You see. Hey, so with that, man, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakakwadash, a double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful that I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba.